Apple released iOS 18.4 sometime yesterday. As you can see, these are the benchmark scores for Geekbench 6 on the A16 Bionic chip and as you can see, they meet up on both the single core and multi-core. Yeah, this device, I ran this benchmark while I was still on 18.4 for these candidates. So, yeah, which is the same build, so no points running it twice. We also have 3 Mark On 3 Mark Wildlife Extreme, this is the score I got. 3346 with an average of 20 frames per second, with basically no battery drop. So, I think this looks like how a stable build should be. Yeah, because when you compare it with like what you should get on a normal day, it meets up exactly. 14 Pro 3340, exactly. So as for Ansuzu benchmark 10.0.9, this is the score I got 1.448 million, which is exactly what you should expect. I think the GPU even exceeded my expectations. Yeah, this is quite a high score for a GPU. On iOS anyways, I think Androids with 8 elites regularly bust through these scores. One change Apple made has to do with the dynamic mm. island and the privacy indicators. To be more precise, the orange mic icon. Take a look at this. Voice memos. Let's say we are using the mic. Alright, you can see it shows the privacy indicator. So now the animation is quite different. Let's try out a timer to also engage the island. So to our timer. Yeah, you can see it's here and now the animation when it moves to the right is different. Yeah, it's not like how it used to be. We have these new ambient music toggles. Yeah, you can see where I took them from. Ambient music. We have sleep, chill, productivity and well-being. You have four new options. The cellular and Wi-Fi icons now respond based on your actual network. You can see my main signal is three bars and it shows three bars right here. Same goes for Wi-Fi. I have full bar Wi-Fi and it shows full bars right here. Yeah, look at it. It shows within the whole control center. Another change we have is in Siri voice settings. Siri voice. We now have an Australian option. The colors of the sky fade. Yep, we have voice 1 to voice 4, but I still prefer Indian anyway. This is quite pointless in my opinion, but we have a new... Little change with the arrows, those two arrows you can see next to the current focus mode. It's a new thing, so I just thought I'll mention it. We also have these new emojis to comply with the latest Unicode standards. Yeah, I like this one anyways. <laughs> On 18.4, we have this new option to pause and resume apps while downloading the app store. Let's try out this new app. Alright, let's download and once it starts, we pause it. Yep, you cannot pause it. Of course, we could do this on like the home screen anytime, but it's new in the app store itself. On 18.4, when you search for an app on Google and then you click and hold the app, you now have this option to open in app store directly. Previously, you see a kind of pop-up that showed like a preview, but now you can open it directly in the app store. 